So how did we get here? Teach, go ahead. Let me tell the truth. Go ahead. Because I always want, because, see, it's better to tell the truth in the beginning yeah. than make something up and people either feel that you lie or deceive them later on. Mm -hmm. It's better to describe a thing the way it really is rather than embellishing it and making it greater than it really is for later on to be, for someone to be disappointed mm -hmm. because the thing was not as you described it. Initially, I didn't like have this idea to run for the United States Senate because I want to run for the United States Senate. H how did this come about? Well, the first thing is, last summer, I was appointed New Jersey chairman of the Bernie Sanders campaign in New Jersey, here in New Jersey. And I want to make this clear from the beginning. Everyone in here has their personal right to support whoever you want to support for president. But structurally, this campaign is connected structurally to the Bernie Sanders campaign. I believe that Bernie Sanders is the best person to represent us in the White House. Why? Because of him individually? No, because his program addresses the needs of the masses of the people in this country. And because he has consistently agitated for these same things for 40 years. You know, somebody said Medicare for all some of these candidates just came to Medicare for All. Yeah. Bernie Sanders has been for Medicare for All for almost 40 years. There's footage, there's video and film footage of him speaking at places for Medicare for All. Some of these people just came to Medicare for All because the wind blew in that direction. Brothers and sisters, we don't need weather vanes. Yeah. We need leaves. That's what we need. As one person said, in the U.S. Senate, I'm not going to be a thermometer to just take the temperature. I'm going to be the thermostat that sets the temperature. So Bernie Sanders runs for president in 2016, and now he's running for president again. There were 25 26, 27 can more candidates. See, they tried to stop Bernie in 16. And they, I think, they stole the election from him. Yes. 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 And they're going to try and steal it from him in yep. right. 20. Yep. So they couldn't keep him out. So in my humble estimation, they tried to drown him out. I don't think all those people were in the race by accident. No. Yeah. Do I think some of them were there because they th generally thought they should? Yes, but not 27 people. <laughs> they were encouraged to come into the race to, to draw support away from Bernie. But now you see all of those candidates gradually falling away. And so I was appointed chair of the Sanders campaign. Now, Bernie is going to be on the ballot in June. The election is going to be the first Tuesday in June. Now, how many people know how these ballots, you know, when you go to vote, that's what I'm talking about. You go in the voting machine, you see the ballot, right? You'll see some lines, and then you'll have, like, independent candidates. And where do they put them? At the bottom. G and F. So people don't even see them. Right. So strategically, if you really want to win a campaign, you need to have what's called a line. Mm -hmm. A line means you have a slate of people running with you, and you all get on the same line. That's right. So we want to have a line for Bernie because Bernie will get more votes with a line than he will by himself at the bottom of the ballot. So to get a line, 
in the primary in June of 2020, you must have a U.S. Senate candidate. Mm -hmm. okay. And we're researching this. They might also, we're not certain at this point, but they might also have to have freeholder candidates. But right now we know that the presidential candidates can't have a line unless they have a U.S. Senate candidate. 